Hi everybody. So in this short video, I just want to give you a crash course in some thermodynamic machinery, some of the pieces of equipment that we're going to be talking about this semester. So you have some basis in reality for what we're actually talking about in terms of the stuff, the machinery, um, and also just kind of common ways that we're going to use for uh, just drawing like block diagrams of the pieces of equipment. So if you look here at the left, um, you'll recognize, sorry, if you look here at the left, you'll recognize a, um, a wind turbine, obviously. Um, this up here at the right is a water turbine. So it's a, a type called a Francis turbine. This is the type of turbine that would be used in um, something like a hydroelectric dam. At the bottom right is a, uh, a gas turbine. And really it's just this part. We'll talk about the other parts of this gas turbine. But this part that I circled right here is the part that's actually the turbine. Right. What a turbine is, it's a system to produce work as a fluid, either a vapor or liquid, goes from high pressure to um, low pressure, really high enthalpy to low enthalpy. Um, so if we, we go back to, to what we had here, um, I'll just draw it on this gas turbine. So we have fluid coming in this side at high pressure and high temperature, and then it's exiting out on this side at lower pressure um, and lower temperature. And what's happening, right, it's spinning this around in that direction. The turbine spinning, that's turning, um, in the case of a gas turbine, it's, a, it's eventually, it's turning a, a shaft, which is turning a gearbox, which is turning an electric um, generator. And that's how we're generating electricity from this system. So right, gas is flowing over these blades, that's spinning it like a fan and allowing us to get work out of it. Um, and same basic principle for these other systems. So you have um, stuff coming in at, at one. This is how we typically draw it here, um, just a trapezoid. And we have stuff coming in the small side because it's coming in at high pressure and exiting the large side, right? Just like this, it's coming in the small side here um, and exiting out at the large side. Another piece of machinery is a compressor, right? Just a, a normal air compressor like here up at the left. This section of our gas turbine is actually a compressor, all of these blades. And what's happening in a compressor, um, I'll just draw it here. So we have gas coming in here um, at low pressure and now the fan is kind of acting in reverse. So these blades are pushing against the gas and causing it to, um, by the time it exits from the other side, it's now at higher pressure. So this is how we typically draw them. Uh, it's a system where you put work in. So you're spinning the blades, for example. Um, you're putting the work in and that's causing you to go from low pressure right here at the big side at one we're coming in at low pressure on the big side and we're exiting here at two on the, the small side at higher pressure and temperature, um, really high enthalpy. The last system is pumps. So pumps are like the same thing as compressors, but for liquids. So that's the really the major difference. They're different functionally in how they're designed. So we um, typically talk about them differently. They're also gonna be a little bit different in how we um, do the analysis because there are certain simplifications that we can make. We'll get to that later. Um, this is just to go through some, some kind of basics. So you can see here directly, right on this pump, we have a, a motor. That's what's putting the work in, right? It's spinning this, um, for this cutaway, it's spinning this guy around and that's causing our, our water, which is entering at low pressure it's getting forced through the pump and it's exiting there at high pressure. Um, so really the same thing, a pump as a compressor, um, it's just liquid versus gas. So a pump, it's gonna be something that consumes work, right? It has a, an engine attached to it and um, causes a liquid to go from low pressure or low enthalpy to higher pressure or higher enthalpy. <laughs> so the last thing that we'll talk about is a heat exchanger. There are all different kinds of heat exchangers. 
Um, this one up here in the upper right has all those little tiny tubes, right? This one, um, that's called a shell and tube heat exchanger. It's one type that's commonly used. Um, so you would have one fluid going through all of those little teeny tiny tubes, kind of as it's as it's shown in the in this sketch here. And then there's another fluid going through the outside that kind of works its way all over those and blows over all of those um, tubes. There are other types of um, heat exchangers as well. This one down here is the heat exchanger for a, a natural gas power plant, like the power plant that's here in Holland. Um, so this is gonna be blowing uh, in this case, there's going to be hot exhaust gas going this way, and it'll actually go um, eventually out the top. It too will kind of, so it kind of goes and then goes out the smokestack there. And then inside of here, there are all kinds of um, water pipes, and we're going to boil the water inside of this um, heat exchanger. So we have hot air and cold water, and we're going to cool down the air and heat up the water. We can also, again, this you've seen this picture a couple times now of the, the power plant um, gas turbine, right? This part was the, the turbine part. This part's the compressor part. This center part here is where combustion is actually happening. So that's where we're introducing our fuel, in this case, natural gas and where, that, where we're burning that. So that could be another way that we're adding heat to the system or um, doing something like that. So depending on exactly the type of heat exchanger, it's going to be a way to either add or to remove enthalpy from a fluid. Um, typically we do that without work in this case, so we're adding or removing heat. Um, and they often use a second fluid as a heat source or a sink. So right, that's kind of what was shown um, up here in this shell and tube heat exchanger. There are two fluids happening same thing um, down in this what we call the heat recovery steam generator um, and what's happening is you're you're either adding heat or you're removing heat from um, one specific fluid sometimes you have another one um, kind of working in tandem uh, as the the source or the sink for that heat a boiler is typically a system where we're, we're adding heat to a liquid causing it to boil a condenser, we're going to be removing heat from a vapor, causing it to condense. Um, and then there are going to be some systems where you have something like a combustion chamber where we're kind of directly adding heat to the system by a process like combustion. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sense of some of the machinery that we're going to be continuing to talk about through this semester. And we're going to be analyzing with um, some of the concepts that we're learning here in thermodynamics.